Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's Inner Stage Window. We're playing some more hardcore. Wow. Before we get super into it, um, I'm gonna link the poll again in the chat. This was the last planned hardcore wow stream, um, but I have a feeling we're going to we're gonna still survive. So I want to know, should we continue this for like our game on Saturdays or should we switch back to our Sims 2 Legacy Challenge? Please vote, that will help me know what we want to do. Okay, let's get into it. Oh my gosh, you made it. Hello, cousin. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? Are you having a good weekend? All right. So, okay. So what we are doing next is, yes, 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 yes. Okay. We got to kill some beasties. We got to kill some beasties. Let me go grab this quest from this uh, torn over here. How have you been? How have you been? I actually am catching up some, on some chores before making some fried rice. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, we're having we're having a beef curry. We're having a, a beef curry today. We should keep hardcoring. Oh, Jane votes for hardcore. I understand. You know, I think that's why I want the vote because I kind of want to see like, do you or do you guys favor that? Because like, I think I kind of want to keep hardcoring, <laughs> and we'll go and like go back to Sims Two like when I die. You know. <laughs> But like, if everybody misses The Sims 2 content, like I want to know that because that would be helpful for me. Um, I'm busy as heck. I had jury duty, then hurricane, yes. And then got out of jury duty and then went to HHN last weekend. What's HHN? I got a multi-night pass, so I'm gonna try again next weekend. Is it is that a convention? I like seeing WoW and hearing, you know, everything in the target. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Halloween Horror Nights! Oh, how is this year's Halloween Horror Nights? Lunar, thank you so much, thank you so much. We'll do more pins at the end of stream for you. Thank you, oh my god. Thank you, it's so good, really? Okay, wait, tell me all about it. I've been to Halloween Horror Nights before, and I do like it, so I'm curious, like, how is it this, how is this year? You know, tell me. Okay, let's kill some swoops on the way to... Uh, that quest we just picked up, the Ravage Caravan. All the scare zones are fire? Like, fire as in cool, or like, fire is the theme this year? <laughs> are we doing, are we doing, um, Zoomer speak? Or are we, like, talking about real, something real? <laughs> they're going with a Zodiac, well, a Zodiac theme. Um, their mascot character, Dr. Oddfellow, who looks like a vampire, Dr. Facilier. Oh, fire isn't good. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you so much again, Lunar. Thank you so much again, Lunar, for the gift sub. I'm sure Weasel will enjoy that. And, um, and yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, you got out of jury duty. I was about to ask about jury. You know, you know what's funny? I have never, ever been called for jury duty. Never once. Never once have been called for jury duty. And I know every time I say that, I'm like bringing it upon myself. But, um, but, uh, yeah, I say it and then it doesn't happen. I say that every time I haven't been called for jury duty and I never get called. So I don't really know. I don't know. I've never been, and I don't really know anything about it. I don't know if I want to be called for jury duty though, honestly, because like how the heck, like, I don't know. I would, I just don't think someone would have to do something like really, really bad for me to be like, yes, um, they should be sentenced or fined or whatever the heck is going on, you know? I feel like that, so I don't know how I could handle it. <laughs> Let's see, I'm refreshing the poll. Okay, so far hardcore is super winning, super winning. 80% is saying continue hardcore. Honestly, I think that's what I want to do, but like, I don't want to do it if you guys don't want it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like looking for validation that I'm like making the right stream choice. Heritage, hello, how are you doing today, Heritage? Um, I was a juror on a murder trier trial Heritage, what the fuck, really? What did you do? What did, can you, I mean, it's over, so you can talk about it, right? Like, what did you do? It's so stressful, man, I'm not against being called in beyond, like, you only get paid $15 a day for each day, and you get called in for jury, you not $15 an hour, $15 for the whole day. What? That's ridiculous. I'd go broke if they called me in again. $15 a day? What? <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous that's why i asked what to do on stream yesterday oh yeah 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 
I think I must have stepped away for that. Like your stream time, um, a lot of times it's like during dinner and like cleaning up and stuff. So I miss like chunks of the evening streams. So I think I didn't see that part. Your employer doesn't have to pay you. What? I think we still get, I think I still get paid if I do jury duty. Like I don't think they skip my pay that day. He took a plea deal. Oh wait, what did I attack? I attacked, I switched targets at some point. Hang on. Wait, I need to concentrate. <laughs> Don't die, Karen. Don't die to stupid gray mobs. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, California is trying to adjust the law to being paid $100 for serving jury duty, but it's to challenge the state law for Cali. But it's a federal law that the court only pays you $15. Oh, okay, so basically, if a state doesn't institute something better, you get $15. But since specific states could have better than $15, potentially... That, that kind of makes sense. The federal limits are always, like, way too freaking low. They're always way too freaking low. <clears throat> but it, So it doesn't surprise me that the federal is 15. Oh, man. I want to go to Halloween Horror Nights again at some point. I really, really do. I really do. Traveling is really hard, though. Every time I've gone, I've traveled recently, I've gotten sick. So it's like, it's a challenge for me to be interested in traveling post-COVID. So I don't know. But I would love to again someday. The time that I went was awesome. Oh, yeah. For that Pokemon community game, if you don't have any Pokeballs, you have to actually type the name of the Pokeball. Or it's just going to tell you that you don't have any balls. Because it's trying to use a Pokeball instead of, like, a Great Ball or whatever you have. Central Florida had an outbreak recently. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. And Lunar School had an outbreak recently. Like, it's just crazy right now. Do people really like being scared for funsies? Yes. Girl, I love haunted houses. I love haunted houses. They're so fun. Are you kidding me? Yes, 100%. People do like that. And I like that. <laughs> and also an outbreak of the plague? What, like, literally the bubonic plague? What? Is that real? Florida had an outbreak of the, the bubonic plague. What? Florida is like a whole other country, I swear to God. I swear. Y'all get the worst, I'm so sorry. Definitely don't feel inspired to be traveling to Florida anytime soon. I love it here. I say like a liar. <laughs> well, I'm sure like once you're established somewhere, like it's hard. It's hard to be interested in going and moving somewhere else. But like, yeah, I don't know. Florida's gotten crazy. Like what the fuck crazy? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh no, inventory's full. Oh, and he dropped the heart and my inventory's full. Okay, wait, I gotta drop something. Let's drop this. Okay, let's go turn in and empty our bags. It's like being invested in a very bad Netflix show. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. Um, the latest, this latest season of, uh, of Nailed It, they like actually, it was like actual competition. Like it was a totally different type of thing. It was like a progressive competition. And the, actually like the bakers got better as they went and they actually taught them how to bake, which made it a totally different show. And I really didn't like it. I really didn't like it. So I just recently had this type of experience <laughs> with a literal Netflix show, um, not being into it anymore. I keep defending it, hoping it can get better someday. Well, it can get better someday. Like that's true. It's just that I don't, I just don't foresee when that could happen. You know, but right now, right now is Florida's pretty bad. But you're right that someday it will get better. But what can I say? It was not that long ago that South Carolina was on um, one of the biggest embarrassments. And I didn't move. 
<laughs> so, you know, I ain't got no room to talk. Go in peace. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm seeing the poll. I'm hearing what you guys are saying. I don't even think I don't even think I need to post this shit to Twitter or the Discord or anything. I think I know what we want. We want hardcore. <clears throat> so I think this is going to be our game. I think we're going to do this until until our warlock dies. What brings you here? Okay, we don't need that. Make sure I don't vendor some greens. That's a quest item. Quest items. Okay. We shall meet again. Doing chores. Okay. All right. Saturday is my chore day, too. Saturday is my chore day, too. You know what I'm saying? Laundry is almost done. And I'll finish it up after stream. Whatever you're enjoying is what she should do. I know that that's true, Heritage. Like, I, in my heart, I know that that's true. But also, like, let's be real. Let's be real. There are plenty of people that that's that if you look at what you should actually do when it comes to content creation, like in being successful and stuff, that that's not, it's not just what you like, you know? It's not just what you like. Like it is, but it isn't. Like if you're not enjoying it, obviously you're not gonna be successful, but it's not just about what you like. So, yeah. And I've watched people like get, get like really, you know, some success. Not that I, not, that, like, my community's small. But anyways, like, they would get, like, some level of success on, um, on Twitch. And then it would just be destroyed from, like, a content switch that they did. Like, I have seen that. Oh, Splitter. Let's see. Is this Stinky Alliance again? Yep. Yep. I want to say congrats, but I can't say congrats to Stinky Alliance. Come on, dog. I know where we're going. We're supposed to follow the dog, but I know where the dog goes. See, this is why the Torrens are cool. They have drugs. Come on, wolf hallucination. Take me there. Okay, let's, uh, can we kill some things on the way? It's kind of spread out. But there's the cougar. Drop your femur. Come here, your kitty kitty. Come over here, there we go. Nope. Wait, wait, Wolfie, I come in, I come in. Don't worry, we'll catch up. He can't run away from us. You don't really have to follow him. This this is just in here because if you don't have add-ons like Questy and and things like that, like in the original game when you know people hadn't really developed add-ons that much, you would never find the turn in for this quest. Like you would never find it if you didn't do this. It's in pretty obscure spot. So this is just the game trying to help you out in that way. Come here, kitty. Okay, 
I come in, Vision. I come in. I race you, I gonna win. Come on, doggy. Okay, it's up in this cave. This is where the doggy goes. And you would just never find it without help if you didn't have add-ons. What brings you here? Walk with the earth. This right of wisdom. Yeah, that's all the way across the map. Okay, so we're not gonna go do that quite yet. Instead, we're going to come down here. We're going to kill some more harpies. These are wind fury harpies. But don't worry, they deserve to die just as much as the harpies in Durotar. Although I think the Durotar harpies are also wind fury, I think. I'm trying to remember, like... If it's the same in if the Durotar Barons and Mulgore Harpies are all Wind Furies, I cannot remember. But I feel like they might be. Oh, well, we're gonna kill. Let's reapply our buffies. And we're up to having some green mobs sometimes now. So, still kind of trivial, but not as trivial as what we were doing before. Gnome Chomsky? Okay. Gnome Chomsky spelled with a G for gnome. That's definitely an alliance. I don't even have to check. No congrats for you, Mr. Stinky. Ooh, scroll of protection. Yes, thank y'all. I love it. Better than the potion. Oh, I should have waited till the potion faded though. So I wasted, oh well. Too late, I got excited. Forgot I had already applied the potion. Gotta keep a little a bit of an eye on Belnax mana. So the only thing about killing like so many so quick is my blueberry will run out of mana. Then he will not taunt. Which I truly think is a big reason why people um, struggle with Warlock, is because they don't really understand how the Voidwalker tank works. How he like needs mana and stuff. So because he needs mana, um, he's not really as an effective pet tank as like a hunter's pet tank. And so people get ballsy. Oh, another protection scroll. Sweet. Man, 
And these kitties don't want to drop their femurs. Sorry, I forgot to press tap. Didn't mean for you to attack a dead harpy. Alright, Belknack, you handle that while I open this chest. Oh, I can't do it in combat. Okay, I guess I'll help you out, Belknack. I guess I'll help you out. Alright. Next, we're gonna go fuck with some dwarves. Do you guys like dwarves? I hope not, because <laughs> we're going to go mess with them. We're going to break their toys, because they shouldn't be here. And so if they're going to be here, they're going to have to be here without toys. <laughs> yeah we don't need to kill any wolfies any more wolfies right now lunar so these wolfies are safe they're safe don't worry at the moment we're okay we don't have to kill them all right so here's the dwarfies i like wolves good <laughs> all right so here's the dwarves we're gonna fuck with them we're gonna um take their toys away and break them Oh no. Oh, you need help. I come in, I come in. I come in. I save you. No problem, friend. No problem. I got this. I got this. Okay. Now that we saved our friend, Meat Bones. Don't worry, Meat Bones. I won't let them get you. Since we're high, we're higher level. We can um break their toys in their own forge. So that's good. So we're gonna do that, I think. Oh, he's a druid. A level, okay, what level is he? A level nine druid? Okay, that's particularly vulnerable. Don't have um, bear form yet. So yeah. Excuse you, do not heal. Do not heal. That is rude. Oh, he was trying to do it there. You know you can break the tools in Thunder Bluff. You don't have to use this one. 
It is more fun to break it with their forge, though. So I understand. But when you're actually doing Mulgore, like, at level, I would recommend going and doing the breaking step in Thunder Bluff, not fighting all the way back here. Just getting some on the outskirts. And then taking the tools to Thunder Bluff Forge. <laughs> wow, indeed. <laughs> okay, we need we need one more pick. Well, see, this person, Chul Tazo, they probably did exactly that. They wanted to break the they wanted to break the tools in the forge here. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Our bags got full again. Mm, okay. I'll drop the eggs. Okay. All right, what did I set my hearth to? Okay, I set it to blood health. Oh, perfect, perfect. We're just gonna hearth back. We're just gonna hearth back. We broke all the tools. What brings you here? Is this 29? Tala 2? Oh no. Scalding Elemental and Thousand Needles. Oh, that sucks. Hail. Okay. Let's go up here and try to get some try to get the quills from the swoops and some and the prowler claws We'll make our way up to this Rite of Wisdom turn in. Oh, hopefully Ghost Howl is up and we can do his do his quest too. The I swear, like, okay, this map says that he can be here, but I only ever see him here on these paths or here. I never see him here in the middle. So I think that's fake. I don't think he's in the middle. Excuse you, you resisted both? That's illegal. Oh, there's some swoops. Swoop, there it is. Swoop, there it is. Swoop like that YouTuber. Soup, soup, soup. I don't know how this, how the, her little song goes, but I know she ends it with, eh. <laughs> All right, got enough quills. I'm out of range. Do the prowlers up here? Okay, no, it's a different one. The prowlers versus who drops the femurs. It's different cats. Okay. So we're not going to get both of those drops from the same type of cougar. We have to get the femur down here and the prowler claw up there.
Oh my god, why are these not dropping the femur? It's taking longer to get this than any of the other parts. Alright, this part of Mulgore at level is um is kind of scary, honestly, because like you run around and there's these beasts everywhere and you aggro everything when you're at the actual level. And you have to like run across here to go turn in the um the right of wisdom and do that part. It's like really scary. I'm surprised I don't see more Torins die to the beasties when you're running through this area because it is actually kind of terrifying. It's too Cause at that level like all these things aggro you all of them and they just destroy you know end up with so many on you There's Thunder Bluff up there, by the way. This one, we can first see it. We're not going to go up there quite yet, but you can see it. It's so cool. It's so tall. It's so tall. Look at it. Look at how tall it is. So neat. Oh my god, drop the femur. We're almost to the other type of cougar. Um, excuse you, why? Why would you like to die? Why is this your desire? Is this so unnecessary? Sorry, Lunar, he wanted it. He told me by attacking. God, inventory is full. I can't carry any more. Oh my god. Okay. Well, guess what? We're going to Thunder Bluff. So I can empty out my bags. Because there's nowhere else I can sell to closer. So we're going to head up there. I wish I had some wool bags. But I don't. Because I don't have enough wool. I guess before next weekend, I need to make sure our warlock has wool bags. Level 30, Dankinator. I'm heading into the Rogue Feather Den. Is this a good idea? <laughs> well, well, you tell us, Mr. Dankinator of Shrimp Gang. It was not a good idea. There's elevators here too, so two of the Horde cities have elevators. People don't really die on the Thunder Bluff elevators though because the door, the door isn't there for people to like get trapped. So you don't tend to see bodies around these elevators the way that you do with the Undercity. Okay, here we go. Best city in the game, coolest city. We love it. It's so high, high, high above me. It's so lovely. Thunder Bluff, where all the Torrens live up high, because cows love to climb. 
I mean, we just know that about cows in real life. So of course, Greetings, why would cows in um, why would cows in this game not love to climb up high? <laughs> what, Lunar? You didn't know that about cows? That's like a, a very common cow fact. Like, I don't know how you didn't know that. <laughs> Alright, let's sell our stuff what to this guy right do? here. Oh, wait. Is he just does weapon training. Oh, staves. Yeah, I can train staves. I should have talked to the weapon merchant. I mean, I did see cows and pigs and trees. <laughs> see, Minecraft, also a very realistic game that takes into account what cows do in real life, which is climb. <laughs> Duh. Okay, bags are empty. Let's go back down and get some more cougars. Sheep, too. Yes, of course. Duh. All right, let's go back to where we were now that we emptied our bags. Oh, he's fine. There's a kitty. Oh, we're in the part where they drop the paws. Okay, so we didn't end up getting a femur. Wait, is this a femur one? Oh, this one might drop it. We've killed so many kitties, we just want one femur. Just want one femur. Nope. Okay, we'll have to come back to those. <clears throat> yeah, this run across here. With this many beasts when you're low level, is scary. It's really scary. Lots of kitties, okay. Drop your paws for me. Put your paws in the air like you just don't care.
Chea. We're gonna have to get him at some point. We don't have the quest for him yet. Okay, got all the claws. Okay, there's some quill bores up here too that we need to help these uh, Torrens with. How wins be at your back? All right, so hopefully this will this will help us. So maybe this will be enough to gain favor with the Torrens. Okay, we're gonna go up this back way for the turn in. It's up there. Oh, nice. Pouch drop. We don't really need that, but it's always nice to get a bag drop. And it's a green one. What do I what do I have equipped? I have like all brown ones equipped. Let's equip a green one instead. That's cuter. Uh, sure, meat bones, we can group. I'll clear the way to the to the guy for you. Kill this one too. There, now you can reach the quest guy, Mr. Meatbones. What is he? Oh, he's a druid. Ooh, another prot scroll. Nice. Can he do it? Okay, yes, he can turn in safely. Sorry, Lunar, the dog wanted to die. He attacked me, not the other way around.
All right, let's do... Let's do those Thunder Bluff turn-ins, and then we'll come back down and try to again to get the femur and make our way over to the Venture Co. guys over there. Get Fitzbrocket. It is a cave, but we're overleveled, so it should be okay. And it's a fairly open cave, like it's not that closed corridors. This is when I intended, had intended to walk up to Thunder Bluff before it was like, oh, I have to now because um, it's uh, <laughs> because uh, my bags are full. But we can disenchant that. OK. All right, so we'll head up to Thunder Bluff and turn these two in. Then we'll head back down and try to do these three quests here. Now, when you're doing Mulgore at level, it's Fitzbrocket. When it pops up, when it's time to do it, it's like really challenging and you need a group. But I think I'll be okay for how overleveled I am doing it. There's a level 12 quest and I'm level 14. I'm pretty sure the mob is 12 too and he's in a cave. But I think but I think most of the ones outside of it, like as you're going into the cave, are not that high level. They're like level 9 or 10. Time to ride up the elevator again. For Halloween, by the way, since we were mentioning Halloween Horror Nights earlier, um, for Halloween, uh, at, at work, you guys know we take it very seriously and we always do like a theme and decorate our uh, cube area and suite and stuff. And our theme this year is Barbie. We're gonna do Barbie. We're gonna win. We're very excited. Um, I'm. I'll show you guys my costume when I get it all together. But we're we're gonna nail it. We're gonna nail it. I'm pretty sure. We won last year, um, so we got to have a repeat performance and win again this year. Yeah, I don't hop around too much on Thunder Bluff. That's how you fall. Yeah, I see you stopped hopping. You stopped hopping when it was bridge time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now he starts hopping again. <laughs> Didn't hop on that bridge, though. Uh, I... What is this? Oh, just speak with her. Okay. You're gonna say something controversial? What is it, Jane? Tell me. I wish WoW was prettier. Retail it WoW, like, as it goes, it does get prettier. But I think that it getting prettier 
kind of makes it lose some of its charm, honestly. Um, which I know is strange to say for me as someone that loves, you know, pretty, but it does. Like when it starts becoming less about like war and fighting and like gets actually like into some of the emotions and and things like that, it, it kind of makes it become less of a game and less of a fantasy and it becomes kind of like it becomes real in a way that's not fun anymore. <laughs> like it, it getting prettier makes it causes it also to get more emotional and it gets, and it gets less fun. Great. I think that's why I couldn't get into it. I'm such a snob. <laughs> that's too funny, Jane, but it totally makes sense. It totally makes sense. But yeah, I think for, for WoW, for the type of game it is and the type of fun that it brings, when you, when you, as you get farther into the expansions and it gets more emotional and it gets prettier and it gets like, you know, more, I don't want to say this is to make it sound bad, but this isn't what I mean. This isn't what I mean. Like when it gets less masculine, <laughs> that sounds so weird to say, but that's true. When it gets less masculine, it adds more femininity into it. It adds more like that type of thing. It's like not, it's not as good of a game. Classic WoW is very good at what it does. It's very good at what it does. And when it, when we add some of that prettiness, when we add some of that emotion into it, it becomes like realistic in a bad way. Yeah, it's too real. Yeah, it becomes too real. And it's like, oh, actually all this war and stuff is really, truly horrible. But it's much more fun when it's like you play it and like you know that, but the game doesn't really fully acknowledge it. Later on in expansions, the game starts to fully acknowledge like how much its characters probably are in pain um, emotionally and it kind of messes up the whole story and the whole vibe of it. So like I, normally I agree with you and that's what I want. But when WoW started to do it, I didn't like it. When WoW started to do it, I, I did not. It, it was not fun anymore, you know? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it, it, I guess it is kind of deep, but like, it's true, you know? I haven't got all day. Not every story has to be so serious. And WoW is better when it's not as serious. When it doesn't take the war part of its story so literal. My RP partner suggested a plot and I want it. Hell yeah, Lunar. That's the best feeling. That's the best feeling. So yeah. What are these? Oh, that's for Ghost Hell. So yeah. Um, I think that's why like so many people are into classic and like why that's popping off so much right now and retail really isn't because Truly, Classic is the better game. It's the better game and it's the better story for what WoW is really good at and what it really excels at. And if you want, like, pretty and things like that, like, Final Fantasy XIV already exists. WoW doesn't need to be copying Final Fantasy XIV. Because we already have that game. And it already excels at what it excels at, right? And we don't need clones. We don't need clones of the same game. Especially when it comes to MMOs. And uh, you're kind of sharing a niche player base. Games need to be distinct. And actually be what they are about by themselves. And so that's why Classic... Like, it's just better. It's just better than retail, like, in my opinion. And I think... That's really what it boils down to as to why. So I think the point is, because this applies to other types of uh, media as well, books, you know, shows, movies, whatever, like whatever your team is good at, that's what you should be creating. Like whatever your world is set up for, that's what you should be creating. You shouldn't be trying to like do what's popular 
or what you what you like necessarily if it's not really what the world is structured for. Because then you end up with Retail WoW, where nobody really seems to like it. And I don't think it's just because of the gameplay. I really do think the story has a lot to do with it. All right, guys, drop your femurs. I need a femur. Oh my god, if we make it all the way to the little mine area and don't get a femur, <laughs> I swear. Why is this quest doing this to me? The other three drop pretty easy, but the femur's not dropping. I'm out of range! Oh my god, finally. Jesus. Why did that take so long? Alright, we're gonna run over here next. And take care of the Ventrico. So yeah, I don't know. But I don't know if like... I don't know if Retail WoW can go back. I don't know if Retail WoW can go back to capture that magic. Like once you introduce those extra layers of complexity and emotion, I don't know if you can return to the simplicity of before. Hello, baby. As a Tauren, I level in the undead zone. Good. Undead starting zone is Bis. It is. You run all the way through Barrens to get there, right? As level one. That's smart. You should do that. I mean, if you do the Torin starting zone, you don't get the cool items. Like y'all, y'all have seen me like not save or hotbar anything, but I got this glue and this skull, you know, from Durotar, and I got this slumber sand from uh, the undead starting zone. Right? Awesome. Changing over to my comp. Hell yeah. Does that mean chores are done, Jane? Does that mean like it's chill time now? Because I love that for you. If it is. Yeah, you only get the slumber sand in the undead zone. So you got to go there. Chores are never done. Well, okay, that's true. That's true. But you know what I mean. Oh, but you got a kid. So you probably like literally chores are never done. Baby is up in 10. Is up in 10 to oh. Oh. So yeah, then you have to go get your kiddo. How are you doing this weekend, baby skull kid? Are you having a good weekend? I hope you're having a nice, awesome uh, Saturday. Let's see about this 29. Falling. Oh, he fell in Thousand Needles. Oh, that sucks. Falling damage at 29. I would cry. Okay. All right, let's head into the mine. Oh my God. Why do the wolfies want to die? They just love it so much, I guess. We're gonna try to run away. Yeah, okay. He didn't leash for long. Ah! 
We didn't kill that one, Lunar. We didn't kill that one. We let him run away. Even though he attacked us first. We should have killed him, but we didn't. All right, let's go in this mine. I don't see anyone else here, shockingly enough. The mine got somebody. Ungabung. Aw, oh, poor Ungabung. We're not gonna let it get us, though. We got this. I know it's dangerous, but we can handle it. Then Venture Coes. No match for me. Karen Terry. We're going to try not to, Jane. We're going to try not to. See, there's so many of them. Like, you can get overwhelmed easily inside these, like, mine cave areas. So, you gotta be careful. We're just going to kill everything. It's going to be okay. That pole actually lost me. What the heck? A lot of times these things are not solid and they will not line of sight. But that's actually solid, amazingly. All right, we gotta drink our milk. We drink our milk. We were going so fast, we oomed. All right, time to zoom, zoom. Oh, there's someone else. Fail. Oh, <laughs> their name is Fail. That's too funny. That's too funny. All right, there's Fitzrocket. Let's get him. Okay, let's get our asses out of here before anything respawns. What's on me? Oh, it's two of them. Okay. Let's bring him to the front. Oh, there's a respawn. Okay, we have to fight three now. Okay. It's okay, we got our blueberry. It's gonna be fine. Help me out, blueberry. We got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, don't you go tattle. Excuse you. Die. I can't drink anymore yet.
We are strong. Okay. And that's how you die in caves, by doing that when you're not over-leveled. <laughs> by doing exactly what I just did um, when you're actually at level for the cave. I should not have run, tried to run away from those two. I should have turned around and killed them as soon as they attacked me. I thought we were Kronk. <laughs> we're Kronk too. Yeah, that's that's true too. We're both. Because we're awesome. We're strong. I can't do that yet. Now we can return to Bloodhoof and do some turn in. Maybe they'll trust us now. Let's see. We're like halfway through neutral. Getting these Torrens trust is so hard, you guys. They don't want to trust me. I don't know why. Like, I know that they think I'm like the Scourge, but I'm not. I feel like I should have proven that by now with how much I have helped them with their Quillbore problem and the Venture Co. and stuff, but still like, mm, I don't know. What did he die to? Oh, Salt Flat Scavenger in Thousand Needles. That's sad. All right, don't worry, Lunar. I'm going to just let him, I'm just going to let him get over it and leave me alone. It'll be okay. I'm not going to kill him, I promise. <clears throat> yeah, I'm they they leash away they the leash breaks pretty quick, so cuz the level difference. Oh, where is she? Is she's farther down the road. This um the turn in for the these guys um she walks down back and forth on this path. So we're just unlucky. She must be down this way. Oh, it's a dude. Whatever. Same. You know what I'm saying. Marin. Ancestors watch over you. Those don't lead to anything. Okay, we're almost done with Molgor. We're almost done with Molgor. What brings you here? The 
the winds guide you. We shall Hey, they trust me now! Yay! Finally! Oh no, that was a level up. Oh my god, I thought that was my reputation going up. It's level up. We're level 15 now. Oh, we need to spend our point. We need to spend our point. Um, let's see. Mm. What are we supposed to spend at 15? It doesn't say. Thank you so much, Lunar. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to do, I think it's improved life tap. Yeah, let's do improved life tap. That's a really good talent. <laughs> thank you, Jane. Thank you. Okay, let's empty our bags. Oh. <laughs> okay, sell you. I didn't mean to sell you. You're a green. Be careful. Okay. Um, I will be right back, you guys. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Um, but then we're going to go kill some harpies up here. So... Get like two seconds, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. All right, now, let's see. We gotta get the Horn of Aracha, Arachea, um, and we gotta do these, okay. So, wait. Okay, those are both in the crossroads. All right. Lunar, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the cheer. Okay. Celebrating the cheer. Okay. Oh, why did my frames per second just dip right there? That <laughs> your cheer was too powerful. Your cheer was too powerful. Okay, anyways, here we go. Before before we cross this bridge and get to where enemies are, let's do let's do some some bubbles. Okay, here we go. Alexa, set timer for one minute. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Stop, stop popping the... I can't... I am compelled. I gotta stop popping the bubbles. Because it makes me look at the bubbles and not the game. Where things can kill me. Oh my god. <laughs> this is dangerous. Constant... Stop popping the bubbles, Karen. I can't stop. <laughs> if you hardcore because these balls, I swear to God. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Jane. I don't know what to tell you. I love them so much. <laughs> that one got my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh alexa stop okay 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 it's time why am i tempted to share more to keep them going longer oh my god girl oh my god okay wait it's i gotta turn them off it's time <laughs> oh my god okay <sighs> there's so many bubbles this thing makes so many bubbles you guys <laughs> I even like diluted the solution a little bit um, after we did the bubbles last time because there was enough room in the thing for that. And it's still like, it makes so many. It makes so many. <laughs> now there's bubble soap everywhere, but it's worth it. Just how can you like, when there's, how can you, like, how do you not just reach out and pop them? How do you not do that? I, you can't. You have to pop them. I am compelled. 
All right, harpies are over here. We got to get their feathers. You're level six all the way up here. That gone crazy. Stay safe. Oh my god, you're gonna pull another without healing? Okay, whatever. I think you're silly doing that at level six, but whatever. Here they are. Oh my gosh. Alliance. All these 60s this stream and not a single one is Horde. up this way in hopes of seeing Ghost Hell before we leave Mulgor. keep thinking I have more range than what I have. <laughs> Mulgore makes me think that with how open it is. That's just a regular wolf.
It doesn't look like Ghost Howl is up right now. Yeah, I don't see him. I don't see him. I feel like I would see him by now. Okay. It's too far away. That's still recharging. Oh, she's an elite. Miss Hate Lash. Pull her back. Away from the elite. Aw, oh, she didn't come. She died before she got to travel. Okay, let's go back to the other area. There's no there's no elite spawns in the other harpy area. Struck out on Ghost Howl. I guess we can we can check for his other spots. But this is the most common one where I see him. All right, let's see how fast we can get these feathers to drop. I feel like these are fairly low drop rate and it kind of takes a while. So hopefully since we're, we can kill them so fast, it will not take that long. I don't want light feathers. I would like bronze and azure feathers. Thank y'all. Oh, it's exactly the same as the Apprentice Sash. Okay. Definitely have to empty my bags after killing these guys. They're going to fill it up.
Oh, 32 priests. Oh, it just says Eastern Kingdoms. No idea how they died. But that sucks. I'm out of range. Oh, fill up on bronze feathers already? Okay, I guess we just have to kill sorceresses now. Of course it is. I knew these guys were going to fill up my inventory. What did I not pick up? Oh, cracked bill. Okay. That's fine. Not important. Come on, drop your feather. I just want one of them. You don't have to give me all of them. Just one feather. I see so many on you. So many azure feathers. I only want one. Alright, one of these other blue ones has to have a feather on it. There we go. Okay. Let's go empty our bags and turn this in. Let's see, what do we have to finish in Durotar? Oh, Ghost Hell's not up, is he? No. No, I don't see him over there. Okay. Oh, sorry, you soldier. Oh, shit, a 53 just died. Oh, an Ungaro, and oh my god, F. Rest in peace, friend. Oh, that sucks. I would be so mad. That place, that little Silithid place, though, in Ungaro, it is pretty dangerous. It's like really twisty, turny cave. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm.
Greetings, traveler. May the eternal sun shine upon you. They still don't trust me. So sad. Let's go get um, Archea. I think that's the last quest we do in Mulgor. So we would have finished. Because we didn't find Ghost Howl. I mean, we can go check for him. Like, we'll go check this spawn point that's up here. It's near Archea. And then we can go check the other spawn point on the way back to Thunder Bluff. We can go check this faster if we check it now. Yeah, let's just walk along his little path down here. See if he's up for this spawn point. And names are supposed to respawn quick. So I feel like he should be up somewhere. He just must not have been up in the spot I normally see him. This area here is also where the pink plane strider spawns. Okay. I wonder how the spawns work with like when it comes to layers. Like is it different? Are they in different spots in different layers if they have like multiple spawn points like this? Just another reason to not have so many freaking layers, if that's true. If that's how it works. There he is! It's Ghost Howl! It's Ghost Howl! Okay. Oh my god. You! Leave me alone. I'm trying to get your big ghost daddy here. Got him. Okay, so now then we actually would do all the quests here. Glad we found him. I've never seen him spawn in that spot, I swear. Like, that is not normally where he spawns when I play through Mulgore. But I guess the little guide, questy guide, was not lying. Because there he was. What was the result of the polls? Does hardcore continue on? Hardcore is continuing on. So basically, so next week we'll do podcast from 12 to 2. It's uh, so we're going to do that. 
And then, but then when we switch over two to four after podcast, we'll do wow. And we'll do that the week after too. So the week after is community day where we're playing um, Stardew Valley, but when we're done with Stardew Valley, we'll switch over to this. So like, yeah, I think we're going to keep going with hardcore wow until we die. <laughs> and then when we die, we'll probably switch back to legacy challenge. But yeah, I think we're going to continue with hardcore. People seem to like it and I'm really enjoying it right now. So we'll keep going until either I die or I get bored of it and want to go back to Sims. But hardcore is like popping right now, you know, like it really is. People are super into it. It really does. <laughs> it really does. I mean, we've been in a low level zone right now in Mulgor kind of chilling, but like that's not going to be the case next week because we're almost done with Mulgore. We just have to kill this guy, this um, which we're actually at the right level for. <laughs> this isn't a too low level quest like what we've been doing. Um, so hopefully he don't fuck us up. Uh, but yeah, after that we'll go we'll we'll go back to Durotar and finish that up, which requires going into Skull Rock. Okay, <laughs> so next week hopefully we can get a group and go into Skull Rock. Okay, where are you, big old Kodo? Where are you? I saw you earlier. Oh my gosh, where is this Kodo? I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. One way or another. <sighs> Am I like running just behind him? He's like just off of like my view distance. Is that what's happening here? Because I haven't seen his body either. There you are. Eritrea, hello! How are you doing today? I hope you're having a really great Saturday, because um, I'm about to fuck it all up. Let's go. You're doing poorly, okay? It's not you. You're just, like, you're diseased. And, um, yeah, I need your horn so that these uh, Torrens here will be my friend. They think I'm Stinky Scourge. They don't believe in the Forsaken, and um, it's a problem. So, uh, we weren't talking to you. We were not talking to you, kitty cat. We were, so, I don't know why you had to butt into this conversation. Okay, anyways, mind your beeswax. Eritrea, thank you for the horn. That's all I needed. Love ya. Okay, let's go to Bloodhoof and turn in ghost, the Ghost Hell quest. And then we'll run up to Thunder Bluff. All right, let's sell. Empty my bags while I'm here. Looking for something special? Yeah, you friend. I want to be friends with you. This is so weird. Okay. With the earth, when after you do this quest, like it just the it stays in your bag, but it says you've already completed this quest. So like you just have to delete the demon scarred cloak. It's so weird. Like I don't I don't understand like why it's like that. Okay. Wills be at your back. 
Yeah, this is the horn. Okay, yeah. So we're good. We can destroy this. All right, let's run back up to Thunder Bluff. just peeking through the the guide what it thinks we should do because we totally went off guide this stream oh and then it says travel to silver pine interesting well we already have done a lot of these steps that it's saying to do next because we already even have like our greater wand we don't even we're not even on the lesser wand step anymore we're on the greater wand step so we're like so way past that <clears throat> We still haven't done, we haven't done this killing the crocodiles and we haven't done the cure quest. And we haven't done this. Huh? Hidden enemies and burning shadows. So I think we've still got some Durotar stuff left to do before we head back over to the undead area, personally. I mean, he's got, this guide is helpful. The rest of the XP guide is helpful. I would I would definitely not, not recommend it. Um, but if you're really experienced with the game, I'm not sure it's necessary. Wow, those are good last words. Those titties. Those titties indeed. Right before the oracle killed him. I guess he, he died looking at what he loved. Titties. Just missed the elevator. All right, we gotta go see Karn. He's on... Wait, where is he? Oh, he's over there. Okay. For some reason, I thought he was on, like, Elder Rise, but he's not. He's just on the top of the main three. Grab the flight path. All right, Karn. Oh, this isn't gonna be enough. They still aren't gonna trust me. Did all the Mulgore quests and the Torrens still don't trust me? Don't worry, Torrens. I will prove it to you. 
I will keep helping you whether you like it or not until you trust I me. I am Care, Chief of the Blood Wolf. All right, so that's all the Mulgore quests. So, let's see. Check. Okay. So next we're going to go ahead and fly to Crossroads and turn in those two, like, traveling to Crossroads turn-in quests. Because why the heck not? It's just extra free, simple well, experience. Be careful. Is this the first flight path we've actually traveled? I think this might be the first flight path of the stream. We've collected the flight paths, but we've not actually flown on them. Anyway, this is the Wyvern one. Let me move the timer out of the way. I guess the timer, the timer can go down here. Let me do... The vehicle bar can go down here. You get to see these nice, like, expanses of the of the land when you do the flight path. And there's certain areas of the game that you can only see when you're on a flight path. Like, because it'll go into areas that you can't actually climb up or walk up. Goodbye, Mulgore. Oh, there's the, there's the centaurs that I told you guys about. Galax Outrunners. Look at those tiny giraffes. Why are giraffes in WoW so tiny? Real life giraffes are gigantic. But in WoW, they're, they're little. They're little babies. I mean, they're tall, but, but they're not that tall. Hey, it's another old Kodo. Lakota Mani. These guys fuck you up. The coal cars, they'll fuck some people up, especially because they come in packs, multiples of them. They'll like destroy you. I was scared when we were doing our little run a little, little bit ago at the beginning. I was scared. I was so scared, but they didn't see me. There were none around when I was doing my run, so it's all good. And here's the crossroads. All right, let's turn in these couple of quests. Greetings, strength. I didn't mean to pick what up that quest. Uh, oh yeah, Gold. forgotten pools. We can do that later. Okay, turn to those in. We're gonna fly over to Orgrimmar next. Hello. Oh, we don't need to talk to you. I'm going to try to center this a little bit better. Now that I can kind of see what the center is. Thought it was center, but it's totally not.
There, that's much better. Right? No, it's off again. It's off. It was better. Maybe it was better before. So the center is like here. Oh my gosh. Time to obsess over my UI. This is just how it is. It's what you have to do. more centered yeah I think so okay there we go <laughs> it's good use of flight path time to obsess over your UI Okay, we did level up this stream. So, twice. So let's go get our class spells. Because I know we have more spells to learn. Now, I'm pretty sure you can jump off of this tower and not die, but I'm chicken. So we're going to walk down. But I feel like I've seen people do it. Like, jump down and, like, be fine. They did reduce fall damage in hardcore, so... But you still take enough fall damage to die on the Undercity Elevator. See, like, the orcs all trust me. They're all green and stuff. Why not the Torrens? Why not the Torrens? Oh, that's Regent's Fender. I thought that was the trainer. Trainer's right here. Hey, Meerkat. What do you need? Okay, we got lots to train. All right. Okay. Go with honor. Put that on my bar. Curse of Recklessness. Put that on my bar. What else? Oh, and rank two of corruption. Okay, sweet. All right, so. That's it for today's stream. That's it for today's stream. Um, when we come back to this game, we are going to do the rest of the Durotar quests. So if we look at Durotar, you can see we've got these couple that we need to do right here. And we're going to head into Skull Rock. So um, hopefully we can find a group. <laughs> uh, so we're going to take some risks. We're going to take some risks next time. So I'll see you guys then. That'll be 2 p.m. next Saturday. Okay. If you are watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.